Peggy 3. Hello, it's David Rutter here, uh, the producer man from FIFA, and I've just got off stage. I'm a little bit hot and bothered after all of my amazing announcements, and uh, I've been given a computer with Facebook on it, and there's questions, and I'm going to try and answer them as best I can. Uh, first up is Magnus Husted. Hopefully I got that right. When can we get the demo? Uh, I believe the demo will be available on September the 16th, uh, and you can download it then. Uh, a nice segue into the next question by Vasky Vasilev. Uh, what teams will be in the demo? I'm not going to tell you it's a surprise. Uh, there's a few surprises in the demo that I hope people enjoy. Uh, and the gameplay is pretty good. It's not final. Uh, we've made some changes, but it is very, very good, and I'm sure you'll all enjoy it. Uh, Stefan Stocic, hopefully I got that right. How does be a goalkeeper work? Is it a lot different to NHL? Uh, it is, actually. Uh, you move around with the left stick and you dive with the right. Uh, we also have fully assisted control, so if you just press the X button, the keeper will make uh, saves for you. Uh, essentially, the difference for us is obviously the, the goal in football is much bigger. Uh, so positioning becomes extremely important uh, and anticipating where, where the ball is going to go. So we have some help for you on screen. Uh, some ball traces so you can kind of read the trajectory of the ball. Uh, a little helpful icon to show you where you should be stood. Uh, but essentially the idea is you stand uh, around the goal and try and stop the ball going in the net, uh, as you would kind of expect. Uh, and uh, it's pretty good fun. Uh, probably the best bit of it in my mind is that in a two-player sort of exhibition match, uh, when you're in the arena in the pre-match loading screen, uh, one of you will have control of the keeper and one of you will have control of the outfield player and then you can kind of play a mini game uh, whilst you're not waiting for the game to load because it's already loaded. Um, but if you wanted to, you can and we track your who's scored and who's saved and all that kind of stuff. It's very cool. Uh, Robert Skinner. Will goalkeepers be playable in career mode as player, player, manager? Also, will we be seeing some new keeper animations like acrobatic saves or feet sweeps that make it more difficult to score? So yes, you can embark on a full 15 season career as a goalkeeper, either creating a virtual pro goalkeeper or picking an already existing one uh, and, uh, and, and have fun doing that. It's, uh, it's uh, obviously uh, a challenging position to play in. Uh, you have to do a lot of kind of standing around, but the intensity of having a kind of Wayne Rooney bearing down on you uh, to try and score a goal is uh, pretty exciting when it happens, so I'm sure you'll all love it. Uh, Ali Hassoun, uh, are there any new tricks or new trick systems and will players have their own individual skill moves? Some players uh, we have done specific animations for. We've also tiered uh, the skill moves based upon your progress. Uh, and your ability, so some players can do different tricks to other players. Uh, we've added a heap. Uh, I'm going to ask Cancho, our animator, to kind of prepare some kind of uh, blog or something to help you all get your hands on, on all of those. I'm not a massive skill move player, so uh, unfortunately it's not the area I'm most familiar with. But Cancho, having been a finalist in the Red Bull freestyling football, and you've probably seen him on Facebook a couple of times uh, at EA Sports, is well into that, so he'll love doing that. Uh, Oh, this is a hard name. Azat Chikarito. When you captured the player faces, did you get the whole squad or just the first 11 and how many teams did you do? So uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say how many teams we did. Uh, essentially, when we turned up and did some of the facial captures, uh, what we did was capture everyone that was there. We were generally going on training days, so most of the squad was there. Uh, and uh, the only times we missed anyone uh, in the first 11 was if they were injured or, or didn't turn up. But I think most professional footballers are good at that. Ah, that's how you scroll. Uh, Valentin Oconquo. Are there more national teams in FIFA 11? Uh, we haven't added any new national teams this year, uh, unfortunately. It is something that we know people care passionately about. I do too, uh, and uh, you know we are trying to negotiate and get more teams into the game. It's not through want of trying. Um, Donald Shongwe, what new leagues have been added to FIFA 11? So uh, last year, uh, the, the kind of non-next-gen uh, titles had um, the Russian League. We've actually got the Russian League in the game this year, so you'll be able to play uh, there if you want. Uh, Kieran, oh wow, Kieran Chikarito Tierney, uh, will you be able to import your virtual pro from FIFA 10 into the game and keep all his stats? No, 
Uh, you won't be able to do that. Um, you actually have to start from scratch again, I'm afraid, uh, but many people will enjoy it because, here's the next question, John Masano, what are the improvements to virtual pros this year and are there any additions to online clubs besides online tournaments? So virtual pros, uh, we've actually uh, about doubled, I think, uh, the amount of uh, accomplishments you can unlock. I think there's about 400, uh, including goalkeeper ones, which is pretty cool. Um, there's uh, uh, everything from uh, just the, the attributes and upgrading those, as well as accessories. Uh, so there's some cool ones in there for, uh, I know a lot of you were chasing around after specific items last year, and we put a lot of those things in, although some of them are quite difficult to get hold of. Um, we've also uh, obviously taken the Personality Plus system from Gameplay and put that in. So whilst there are, uh, I think there's about double the amount of traits this year in Virtual Pros, um, you can't have them all unlocked at the same time. You actually have to take uh, five of them into a match. So you and your teammates can actually come up with a strategy about how you might want your pros to work on the pitch together. Um, we've also uh, reworked the kind of way that the, the actual characteristics of the player that you're setting up, be it you know, a, a midfielder or an attacker defender, those kind of guys. Uh, and what type of role you want to do will actually affect the seeding of your, or your attributes. Um, what else? We've done tons of stuff. We've got a new book. Um, you can, um, I think that's about it. There's, there's a lot in there though. Obviously we've still got game face so you can put your own face on it. Uh, as far as clubs is concerned, we've done a lot of work. Uh, there's a friendly match now so if you and a couple of guys want to play without going online uh, formally in ranked games, you can. Uh, similarly, if someone wants to join your club or you spot them and you want to bring them in for a practice match to check them out before they actually join your club properly, you can do that too. Uh, we have uh, a, a kind of knockout cup. Uh, we've done a lot of work on trying to make it more intuitive when you're actually in your hub and you're looking around for people. It's easier to find people to play with. Uh, actually, you can, you can check for how many members of a club play in specific positions as well. So if you want to join a club, you can see if you know, they've got loads of midfielders already. You might want to have a forward, that kind of stuff. Um, I think Mike Tack has just written a Virtual Pro blog, actually, and hopefully we'll be releasing that soon, uh, and he's going to be doing an online clubs one as well. Uh, Nicola Copen are licensed referees in the game, and will referees have personality plus so they all act differently? Uh, we don't have any refereeing licenses in the game, uh, but the referees this year do have uh, an amount of personality based on how strict or lenient they are about certain things. Uh, Daniel Scott... Pomerantz, uh, will FIFA 11 have injuries like 2010 FIFA World Cup 2010 uh, where we get a message after every game saying how long a player is injured. So within career mode we have uh, a great variety of injuries uh, that hopefully you'll enjoy. Uh, I'm not completely familiar with the FIFA World Cup games injury system because I didn't work on that. Uh, since the end of FIFA 10 I've literally only focused on FIFA 11. Let me see if I can scroll down without breaking the computer. Uh, David uh, Shawgren, a uh, question about injuries in career mode, will there be more injuries and will they last longer? We have short injuries, we have long injuries uh, and all that kind of stuff. So Chris Stevenson, what improvements have been made to the tackling animations this year? Because I did feel sliding tackling became very boring after a while, what felt like only two styles of sliding tackle. Uh, we have improved the sliding tackles uh, quite dramatically. Indeed, if you have uh, quite aggressive players, they, they're, they're very aggressive in sliding tackles. Um, they're, they're very useful this year as well, particularly as the pace of the game has slowed down, you can actually use them more effectively. Nicola Copen, uh, will FIFA 11 have a different button to skip replays? I can see so many goals mashing the X button and making my goalkeeper give the ball away from a goal kick. Uh, I can't help you out there. Uh, what I would suggest is don't mash your buttons. Uh, just stay cool. Uh, you might get one back uh, and uh, you know, just, just let nature take its course in the replays. And uh, that seems to be it for the time being. So uh, thank you all very much for getting in contact with me. Hope you'll watch the press conference. Uh, and we're excited about uh, 11 versus 11. I know we are. We've been playing it a lot at work. It's extremely good fun. And uh, hopefully at some point I'll get to play you online. And uh, you can check out my virtual pro. Anyway, see you there.